Hi guys. Yeah, I just had to do this quick reaction video. I just saw the newest episode of uh, Star Wars Rebels. And I know that I have been very, 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 very critical about the series the last couple of months. Uh, but this uh, episode, it, it was called The Trials of the Dark Saber. Um, changed my mind um, a lot about the series concerning its third season this running season here uh, because uh, this episode was one of the greatest uh, pieces of Star Wars um, uh, content I have ever never seen and I'm not kidding this was uh, just perfect from the get-go it was the art and the music oh boy the music was perfect for the uh, for the um, uh, this episode here because the um, happenings in this episode were so uh, east eastern philosophical so uh, they use some eastern I, I thought I recognized some uh, Chinese uh, based music in there and also some Japanese and uh, also some uh, I'm not sure is there uh, like shadow art done in China or in uh, Japan or somewhere else in the Eastern world but oh boy it worked perfectly for this because well um, to get my head into order after seeing that let me discuss uh, this in order let's uh, let's begin uh, with the art because in the beginning of the episode they used some um, uh, a shadow animation that was so perfect it was absolutely perfect it was fantastic it fit uh, the plot of the episode uh, extremely perfectly um, um, I know that I'm using very high words of it but it was perfect it was just perfect uh, and uh, and the way uh, there was some other art that was handled in the beginning or shown in the beginning of this episode and all of the art style fit this episode so perfectly and there was one very very comedic um, uh, like five second piece in the beginning of the episode between uh, between Sabine and um, Chopper uh, the robot from the, the, this series Star Wars Rebels and it was such a perfect moment uh, in, in in its uh, well uh, in its goofiness because it worked for me at least and um, but oh boy from the get go uh, the style of the animation uh, I'm not sure uh, did they change it uh, just sad uh, just. A little bit because it felt a little like uh, I said about the uh, uh, shadow art just a few moments ago and the whole episode and its artistic form it felt like very Eastern and very like uh, Chinese and Japanese uh, yeah it, it was oh boy it was so so perfect and uh, the music they used in here uh, or in this episode, it was, I would say, Chinese again, Chinese Japanese based. Uh, it reminded me a lot of uh, some music pieces I heard from uh, uh, such movies as Romeo Must Die, because there's a very well done em emotional music in Romeo Must Die. Uh, be whatever your opinion about that movie in it uh, in itself but the music in that movie was perfect uh, so the way they use that same kind of um, Chinese um, I don't know what's the instrument called but violin or something the way they use the music in here it was it it fit the emotions of the episode and uh, I almost cried uh, because uh, the blend was so perfect. It was, it was something I didn't expect from uh, an episode of Star Wars Rebels. 
especially this season, because to be fair, this season has been a bit a bit of a letdown for at least for me for myself, because I was waiting for so much more from this episode uh, from this season, but this episode rectified. Uh, uh, most of my problems, if they keep this same kind uh, kind of style up, it will be a perfect fit for the uh, rest of the season. I'm sure they won't, but let's hope so. And the plot was, and the plot of this episode, without giving anything away, if you want to watch it, uh, watch the episode first. It it was um, a very Sabine centered, so. Uh, we haven't got many stories from her, from her perspective uh, at all. Uh, but this was all about her and all about her beliefs and all about her family and her re- and her relationships with her family. So they were handled so perfectly in here. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything else, but she was trained by Ezra and. Uh, she was trained by Kanan in uh, in her trial. So uh, those two guys um, fit it to the to a T. And and yeah, if if you like Sabine as I like her, uh, this this episode is just gold. And do you know what? Um, uh, I watched this morning before watching this um, episode of Star Wars Rebels. I watched something uh, on the uh, Star Wars YouTube channel, uh, the um, the Star Wars um, show, the weekly show that they do from Lucasfilm, and uh, there's this host um, called Andy Gutierrez, and. I don't know. I I never ever never before got this wipe wipe from Sabine, but I'm not sure. Have they designed her? Have they designed the character of Sabine uh, in some ways uh, to resemble just a little bit, but uh, enough uh, Andy Gutierrez? Because some uh, somehow it hit me this uh, episode that they are very very similar. In some ways, I don't know any Gutierrez m- myself personally. I, I most likely w- will never do, but uh, judging from her on-screen uh, persona, there was just something that hit me that Sa- Sabine is designed very much the same way as Andy Gutierrez looks and sounds and yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, this episode of uh, Rebels was good in in also that sense that there wasn't any uh, Imperial um, segments, although they talked about the uh, Imperial forces a lot. Well, not a lot, but mm, somewhat a lot. And But the thing is that um, this episode proved that they still got it. Because my uh, belief in the series has been slipping a bit this season, as I said before. But this episode restored my belief on this on this season and on this series as a whole. So um, let's hope that they keep it up. Because oh boy, this was perfect. This was fantastic. This was so so good. Go and check it out wherever you can, can because this was, um, well, it, it will be time well spent if you, like the, uh, if you like Star Wars Rebels as I do. So, but yeah, that's my um, video for this time. So, um, go and watch uh, Star Wars Rebels and go and watch Star Wars um, as a whole in general. And see you next time. Bye-bye.